Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome to Mother 3 Blind. This is a game that has been highly requested on this channel for quite the while, soon after Earthbound Blind ended. And I have to say, I loved Earthbound. It was such a beautiful game, such a masterpiece of a Super Nintendo game, and I can completely understand why so many people love that game. But Mother 3 is on a whole new level according to you guys who told me about this game. I have several friends who love the Mother series, and Mother 3 is just a game that I heard that is super good, and it's going to make me feel all kinds of things when I play it. As excited as I am to start this game today, I'm also extremely nervous because I really want to do this game justice, and just by playing the game I'm hoping to do so. But with all big games like this, you got nothing else to do but just press that A button and start the new file. Let's go. So of course I know who this guy is. I've played Super Smash Brothers, obviously. I mean, <laughs> who else, right? So his name is Lucas. And of course we're going to go through all the default names here of the characters. The older twin brother, an energetic boy. His name is Klaus. And you got the strong, kind, and dependable father. His name is Flint. The beloved mother. Uh, I think it's Hinawa, I believe that's the name. And the brave and smart dog is Boney. And what is your favorite homemade food? Now, I would go with the don't care option, but I think I'm just going to circle through these because, ooh, don't even have to do that many times because I love me some pasta. So we're going to go with that. And my favorite thing, love, home run, mock, top spec, Mount Fuji, camera. I'm just going to go with love on this one. And is that all? Ooh, and we get to change the text speed and everything. So let's go ahead and change the text speed to fast. And the window color... Honestly, I think... Ooh, I mean, melon looks pretty good. I think my favorite one is mint. Even though I don't like the flavor of mint. Oh, well, I mean... Great. I, li I do like melon, actually, quite a bit. So we're going to go with melon on this one. And is that the things I'm going to go with for this adventure? You bet it is. Let's go. Welcome to the world of Mother 3. We are here, guys. We are in the world of Mother 3. Ho oh, snap. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. The music here is so good. The Nowhere Islands. If the beginning of the game has this good music already, I can only imagine the later parts of the game. And for Game Boy Advance standards, this looks not even from the Game Boy Advance. This looks so good. In Tasmili Village. Like, look at those trees. What game have you played on the Game Boy Advance that has those, like, aesthetics? It looks so good. Just by looking at it right here. Beyond the Sunshine Forest. Sorry, I'm just kind of gushing at this music right now. It's... Man, the game's already opened up to a strong, powerful start, man. Home of Alec, Hinawa's father. And of course, we're the lazy boy just laying in bed. Lucas, how long are you going to sleep? Get up so we can play. Get up already. The Dragos brought their babies over. They're really cute. Hurry up. Oh man, is it that time of the day already? Gosh, it's like getting up for work in the morning. But here we are. We're moving. We're cruising. Uh, anything? No? Can I interact with things? The same bed head as always. Sure enough, pressing the A button allows you to uh, interact with things. A real wood-burning stove. No problem here. Go figure. Hinawa's bed. Klaus and Lucas's bed. Wait, so Hinawa sleeps with, sleeps with the kids in the room? Huh, that's interesting. What we have over here? Nothing. I'm just going to kind of go through and just examine certain things. Obviously, this is the first episode. I'm getting my bearings straight, of course. 
Hello, Hinawa. Er, Mom. Good morning, Mr. Sleepyhead Lucas. Klaus has been up for a while, playing with the Dragos. Has he now? And no problem. The fireplace is nice and clean. This house looks really cozy. I would sleep here, for sure. Like, look at this. It's like a nice cabin feel. It looks so nice. And of course, we have a bed here. An old bed. It's fluffy and very comfortable. Are you planning to play it in your pajamas? Scoot upstairs and change your clothes. Yes, Mom. <laughs> Alright, now we're looking spiff. Now we're looking awesome. Alright, I guess we're going to go outside and play with the Dragos and our... I'm guessing our brother. Yeah, twin brother, right? It said Klaus. And who's this? Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Well, today's the day you head back home. I'm going to miss you guys. Aw. Oh, that must be Alec. Yeah, it's, I got to pay attention to the names of these people. We have chickens. Look at all these chickens. Cluck, you, light, you late riser. <laughs> Dude, come on now. You're awake, Cluck. Oh, this music, man. Oh, my goodness. Moo. All cows, no matter what they're thinking, go moo. It'd be handy to remember that. Really now. Oink oink. What a, what the pig next to me says worries me. Oink. Don't worry about it. Huh? He said, "Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what." And is that a frog? A story is a series of memories. Memories are remembered with other memories, and in turn become memories themselves. This is a very deep frog, man. If you don't take care of the preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please tell us frogs your memories of everything so far. That's what people refer to as- Oh, We're saving the game! Now then. Save your game? Uh, yeah. Sure. Let's go ahead and enter our save data here. Nice! Chapter 1, Mount Orylander in Alex's house. Five minutes into the game, level 1. Oh boy. Looking good to me. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here then. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. So I assume that the frogs are going to be the ways you save the game, which is pretty interesting. There are ants at your feet. You might accidentally step on them, so please don't continue in that direction. Oh, pfft. that's how you're going to tell me I can't progress to this direction? It's by ants? I don't want to step on ants? Eh. Alright, can I at least go this way at the very least? I sure can. So what's going on down here? Oh my goodness, they're huge! The not ram into the drog, dude! Oh, you killed them! What are you doing, man? Oh, oh, they're just playing. Okay, I was scared. It's like, man, you're a strong dude. <sighs> Ooh, I'm beat. I've been play fighting with the dragos all morning. You should play too, Lucas. Uh, that looks scary to me. Come on, just give it a try. The dragos are waiting. Klaus. Lucas still doesn't know how to ram into things yet. What? Lucas, try to imagine a thing called a B button. And then pull that B button for a second, then let go. Doing this will let you dash. And by using this dash ability, you can ram into that Drago there. Klaus, show him an example. Why would I want to ram into a big old Drago? That thing looks like he'd eat me alive! Yes, just like that. Now it's your turn, Lucas. Give it a try. It's like if you play with a lion. You don't know how ta how dangerous those things are. You'll never succeed with such a sullen look on your face. That holds true for anything. Just relax. Uh, okay. Hold on the B button and release. Nice, we did it. So, do I just like... Oh, you can't hold it down and... Oh, okay, I'm running. But you also don't control. If you let go of the button, of the directional button, you can you still move in that direction until you change. Okay, and then you press the B button to get. Okay, that's no, that's that's kind of nice. This Drago baby was born just recently. Aw, can I ram into this one? No. All right, I guess I'll do this one again. Is that what the game expects me to do? Nah, he just kind of does his thing. The harder you run into them, the more the Dragos like it. Move it out of the way. Make way for the great mole cricket. I'm sorry, what? What? I can't just sit idly by when I hear someone's play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you! Get in my way and you're in for a world of pain! Uh-oh, what? You encounter the mole cricket? Oh god, we're fighting already? 
Uh, I don't have any goods, obviously. Oh, the, okay, I can go back. Okay, so we have run away, we have guard, which I guess prevents us from getting more damage. All right, so we go and attack then, and then, okay. So we have some damage, oh man. The mole crook use a biting attack. Ouch. So the, the fighting style in this game is very, very, very similar to Earthbound, which I can get my hands on pretty easily. It seems we have the scrolling HP, and he went down pretty fast, not even bad at all. And we earned two experience, nice. So we got a little taste of the combat system there, which is super awesome. I see you, t I see you have more spine, more of a spine than I thought. If you'd like, I could train you personally sometime. Next time we meet, I'll be at the Big Mole Cricket Hole Stadium. I look forward to seeing you there. Bro. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Hey, Hinawa. Or, Mom. I stepped on a mole cricket. I hope it's a... <laughs> oh my goodness! We were sitting there fighting that thing, and all of a sudden you just step on him, and he's done. Lunch is already, everyone. I made your favorite boys. Oh, I, I made you your favorite boys. Pasta! Oh, man. Ooh, lunch, lunch, pasta! Oh man, I hope you made some of that delicious chicken alfredo, man. That's the good stuff. You too, Dad. Now then. Listen, folks. Here is how to save. Talk to frogs. This is how you save. It's not too tedious or troublesome, so you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Plus, saving is absolutely free. Now then, it's time for me to return to the story. Oh, thank you for that nice tidbit. Hey, wait for me! You saved me some pasta too, I hope? This game has a totally different feel than Earthbound, but not really at the same time, but it's just... It's so lighthearted so far. We all know it's gonna turn dark real quick, though. What's your favorite food, Mom? Oh, pasta? Then your favorite is the same as ours. We make a good match. After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Don't be silly. I bet the kids can make it here on their own. It's that safe. I bet even you can handle it, Lucas. Ha ha ha. Dear Flint, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is as daring and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled, but neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. I had forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You've always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tasmania Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in this air. The next time we meet, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we could all come up here as a family. Klaus, Lucas, and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite pasta right away. With love, your dearest Hinawa. This game is so beautiful, guys. I'm like tearing up right now. Oh my gosh. The first episode is already making me feel things. Oh, and she put on a bird. Man, that's so cute. Oh gosh. What the heck is that? Now yeah, you saw that too, didn't you? Well, that doesn't seem good. That's bad. Wow, what an introduction to the game. Oof. And the music, again, I'm going to keep mentioning this throughout the LP, but this music, man, it just brings out the game. Oh, boy, I'm in, I'm in for the long haul, guys. I'm in for the real adventure now. We're in it to win it. We're going right through it.
Uh oh. What is going on? Jeez, what is happening here? All the animals are free are freeing are fleeing from something. Oh god, what is that? Dude. Looks like a donut. What is that? Oh my goodness, they're bombs. Dude, why? Wow, this took a dark turn real fast. Jeez. Okay. Chapter 1, Night of the Funeral. Oh god, whose funeral? Flint! 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 It's a fire! A fire! A fire! The Sunshine Forest is on, is on fire and a huge fiery flamey fire! Jeez. And this is Flint, so this is uh, Lucas's and Klaus's father. You gotta do something quick! Flint! It's the forest! The forest! The forest! The forest is on fire! Jeez, who would have locked their door in a village as peaceful as ours? Flint! Ah! The doorknob! Why'd you have to come off at a time like this? Oh, man. Ah! Doorknob! I mean, Flint! There's no time to be dozing off. There's a huge fire in the sunshine forest. Bad time to this call for reckless, nice guys like you. Please come, Flint. Please! Sure, why not? Thomas joined your party. Man, we're getting all these crazy members we haven't even really met before until now. I'd fall follow, I'll follow behind you. What? What's so what's so wrong with that? I happen to like following behind people. Do you now? Alright, well dog, do you wanna go too? He's hiding something inside the doghouse. What are you hiding? Flint got a stick! Well that sounds pretty nice. Hey, Flint! That stick should help make a good weapon in case anything happens. Be sure to equip it first, though. Just holding on to it will make it as useful as a caramel. As a caramel? Uh, okay, so we can equip things by pressing start, and then we'll go to equip, I think? And now we're playing as Flint, and then we also have this guy, who doesn't have any stats, but that's fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and equip the stick, because, well, we gotta make ourselves a bit stronger, I guess, somehow. Well. We can still run, which is super nice, so we'll go ahead and do some running around and about. And I think, actually, this is a good place to end things off. Things have really turned, and the beginning of the game is so good. Man, like, so many questions come to mind right now, like, why am I not playing as Lucas? But I guess that'll be another question for another day. Wow, level 7? We barely even played the game, man! But, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of this one, you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this first episode. I know I'm going to be enjoying the long haul of this game, man. Next time on Mother 3 Blind, we're going to be heading off to the Sunshine Forest and see what the heck is going on around here, because, quite frankly, I have no idea. All I know is that there's a forest fire going on, and things have really taken a dark turn real quick. With that being said, everybody, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Mother 3 Blind. I will see you guys then.